Okay, I'm up here on top of the roof of a 2023 Unity RL, and I'm going to be removing this uh, Wi-Fi booster and this WineGuard satellite dome. Both of these are WineGuard products, and uh, the owner has not been able to make them work. So we're going to be using this space for our Starlink installation. Okay, so I'm starting on the satellite first. I undid these connections. Now with a putty knife, you just open up all these screw heads. And these are uh, Roberson tipped screws. So I'm just going to go through and remove all the screws in this plate because we're going to use this plate as the down wire for the there's an opening under here we're going to take the new starlink wire down through this and then i'll do the same thing with all the feet of the dome so then i can remove uh, the dome from the roof so i'll come back and show you that okay so i have all this pulled out and now i can just lift the dish off so it's completely disconnected and we can take it off the roof so I'll do that and come back okay now I have all the screws out of this so now I just need to go through and pry up all this die core so I can ultimately lift this panel off the roof, which will expose a hole that Leisure has already made in the roof. And we are going to try to use that to run our Starlink down wire. Okay, so got all this pried up. And there you can see what a nice big hole. I'd say that's like three inches diameter that leisure drills in your roof. So we're gonna try to reuse this hole. And I will just tuck these old cables down in the hole. Um, we'll reuse, see if we can reuse this for the Starlink. But you can see the roof thickness panel is really very thin. So you don't really wanna drill, you know, put any screws to hold things in because it's not going to hold so that's why i use vhb tape i'm going to use vhb tape for the starlink mount all right i'll come back when i get all this cleaned up okay so i've unhooked uh this is the wine guard wi-fi booster um i've got to still unhook this from inside but uh, each one of these legs has a single screw in it so I'm going to remove those screws and and uh, I think there's four legs so then I can remove this uh, wine guard dome. I'm not going to take this plate up. This plate will have the same kind of hole that the satellite uh, that they drilled for the satellite wires. Um, but if I don't have to open this up, um, I'd rather not. So I'm going to see how the... Um, how the uh, Starlink mount fits in between these two locations. And uh, if I don't have to take this all out and unseal it, I'd rather not do that. So we'll, we'll see what, what we gotta do. Okay, so I've got all these screws out of the feet. And now you can just pull it up. And that's it for this uh, Wi-Fi booster. Uh, but I do need to um, either cut this cable or disconnect it. So I'm going to take it apart and see what I want to do. I'll probably cut it. So I'll come back. Okay, I ended up uh, cutting the wire. Um, I cut the black one first and then I cut the red one. There's a fuse in the fuse panel down there, but I, I uh, didn't pull it. So, um, now what I'm going to do, probably do with these if I don't have to take this up, is I'm just going to 
um, VH or I'm going to uh, Eternum on tape these down um, so this all stays sealed but if anybody ever wanted to reuse these wires or use this for a power supply since it's 12 volt up on the roof it would always be available okay so we have both things done now we got to clean up the roof and we can get on with our Starlink installation okay so now I've got this area clean uh, and it's time to get on with our Starlink so I'm going to get the holder up here and we'll see how things are going to fit okay so this is the frame for the Starlink and we're going to be putting it in this general area um, and then of course the the dish you know sits on top of this so um, I'm going to go down and see where the hole where a hole will come through if we go through this hole to run the actual Starlink cable uh, and then we can uh, start filling in holes and getting everything sealed up and mount this bracket um, for and finish up the roof. Okay, so what we've done is I've gouged out this hole to meet the hole we drilled up through the ceiling. So when I get the wire pushed through and you can see this better, I'll take another picture. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but there's a hole uh, in there, and we were able to uh, feed the Starlink cable through. We tied it to, uh, uh, we taped it to a wire and pulled it down through. So now we've got our Starlink cable run. And I can uh, do the installation up here. The good thing about the roof is it's all styrofoam. So even though we had to drill, we couldn't drill a hole straight down, which we tried, but we found that we went into the um, air conditioner vent. So I have to um, seal those up. And there's an air conditioner vent that runs right down through the center of the RL all the way to the back uh, wall. So we had to gouge out a hole far enough in so we could get past the, uh, the, um, the, the ventilation, the vent. Um, and so we went over, I used about a 12 inch screwdriver. So we went over I don't know, 10 or 10 in, oh, it's not really 10 inches, it's, it's about right there. I had to go that deep. So I had to go that deep to get to the hole that we drilled up inside the compartment. All right, so now I will get on with uh, finishing the installation up here. And then we can go inside and show you what we're going to do there. Okay, I use uh, 3M Adhesion Promotion um, to clean the area I'm going to put. I'm going to put a turn on tape over these uh, screw holes to seal them. But first, I, what I do is I take some of the old putty, old Dicor, and I make little balls and I put it down in the hole. So then when I put the die core over it, it'll be sure to, I mean, not the die core, the <clears throat> Eternum on tape, it'll sure be sure to be a, uh, a double seal. So I'm going to do that with all the holes where I took this, the Wii Boost, uh, or not the Wii Boost, the uh, Weingard cell booster off and um, fill those holes and seal up where I remove that because we're not going to put the dish in this area. So I'll show you what that looks like when I get done. Okay, so I've got all the holes filled where the Wii Boost, <clears throat> not the Wii Boost, the Weingard cell booster uh, disc was installed. 
and I just covered up the wires with the turn -a -bon tape here so if anybody ever wanted to get to the 12 volt power supply or to the coax cable it would be easily to get to and then each of the screw holes for the feet are sealed up once you put this a turn -a -bon tape down it is not coming off it is going to seal and um, be there forever so when you're using it um, you know there's no do-overs once you stick it down it's down so make sure before you place it that you have it exactly where you want it uh, and then put it down and you know push out from the center to squeeze out any bubbles and it will be sealed um, you know forever so uh, that's done Okay, so I sealed up the remaining holes from the um, satellite dish. And now I'm going to put the Starlink um, panel frame, securing frame about right here. I'm going to use VHB tape so that will seal up these holes and then I'm going to use a turbon tape so that will hold it. And then here's a a duplicate of the panel and so it's going to sit about like that um, uh, and the cord will come out of here and then it'll go back underneath so that should all work out well it'll go back and then um, we'll, have to, we'll seal this up last all right, so let me get all that done. Like I said, I'm going to be using uh, VHB tape to stick this down. And uh, I'll come back and show you what that looks like. Okay, I have this covered with VHB tape. And I'm going to peel that off and stick it down. Okay, and this is not going anywhere. I mean, it is on there. So, uh, the mounting is done. It's time to put the Starling cup. The first thing you do is you put the, um, the, um, I don't know what they call them, knuckle, knuckle thumb screws in the bottom, two bottom holes of the Starlink. And then you slide it into place and then we've already snapped in, um, the connector and it is, uh, you hear a click when you snap it in. So you wanna make sure you get that um, in place correctly. And we ran it down through the center. Now, oh, and they give you uh, Loctite. So now I need to put Loctite on these two and uh, screw it down here to secure it. And then we'll be done. Um, with the Starlink mounting and then I'm going to clean the panel um, and so that'll be ready and then we will just have our hole to deal with I'll come back okay um, it's kind of tricky getting this these screws in you really have to use some muscle to align it and then you got to make sure you get it threaded properly so now we're going to pull the rest of this cord down okay all right so I'm gonna tuck all this stuff in the hole and I have this nice new cover plate that I'm gonna use for the wire I'm going to VHB tape this down, and then I'm going to cover it with <clears throat> um, Dicor, and this will all be sealed back up again, so I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've got that all tucked in. This cover is going to fit over that hole just fine. I'm going to use some VHB tape to stick that to the roof, and then cover the whole thing in Dicor. And we will be done on the roof. Okay. The uh, Starlink High Performance Flat Panel is installed. And it turned out really well. 
and I still just have to come up here and uh, decor the cap covering the hole um, but it's all on and uh, ready for us to do the inside okay there I put the decor on <clears throat> don't be stingy with decor let it flow it makes the best seal so everything's done and the Starlink is mounted uh, time to get off the roof okay so we came down through the ceiling of the rear compartment we've drilled through and we're running it down to the bottom of this compartment so um, um, so we've got it run we're gonna put some Eternabon tape to clean up the seal you know clean up that hole in the ceiling um, and then there's an access panel over here on the rear lounge wall which we're gonna drill through uh, to run the remainder of the Starlink cable and then we're gonna mount the power supply and router in this little cubby and then there's an outlet down there that it will all plug into so we'll keep going okay so we've run the cables down and uh, through this panel and we got them all bundled through and we've drilled a hole on that side so then uh, we just have this side and uh, so now we've got the cable um, for the Starlink dish and now I'm going to mount the two, uh, the router and the power supply, they have stands. Um, so I'm going to uh, mount those and then we can hook up the wires and snap it all together. Okay, we put the panel back on. And the Starlink, uh, everything is back in the cubby hole. Uh, and then we have them plugged in and she'll clean up those wires, but she's basically just going to plug it in there because they don't even use this area. Um, so it should work nice. We're done. Now she's doing the setup. And here's what it looks like on the roof. It looks pretty nice. <laughs> 